facts, to give you information that the government are not telling you. And this also includes the media, because the fourth branch of the government are the media. You know it. Do you know it? Yeah? You fancy the talk? No, come on, come on. We need the youngsters, yeah? Do not like the corrupt government. Does not like the corrupt government. A round of applause for that young man! Because the main reason why we're here is for the next generation. The next generation go to school, they get told this, they get told that, and half of it's lies, half of it's useful. I just got turned up majorly then. But we are here to give you information that they are hiding from you, especially in regards of the Devon Carbon Plan, the 20-minute neighbourhood agenda, digital ID, it all goes hand in hand. They're looking to restrict our movement. They're looking to cause inflation upon us. I ask myself, how can they pay for this? You know, whose money are the government using to pay to lock us down and take away our freedoms? And I think, we're not only submitting to them doing it, we're actually paying for it. And then they give money to Ukraine. They, they put people up that come in rubber dinghies over shores and say, you can have a nice hotel, you can eat for free, you can have some nice shoes. And yet our veterans who have served in the war are homeless. And the people suffer while the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. The thing with the digital IDs, it's not the technology that's bad. It's the people that control the technology. They are creating a monopolized, centralized government digital currency. Where if you look and go on Google and type in British pound, digital, digital pound, you will see what they are proposing. You will see that the restrictions that you'll be able to have in your bank is £20,000. They have already blueprinted the restrictions upon people's money and it's in an official, official document. And speaking of the police, because a gentleman just asked me to speak about them. I, I actually love the police. <laughs> I think that the problem is, is they've been defunded over the years. When, when I was younger, I used to walk the streets and there was a local Bobby and you knew his name, you know, and he checked in on the neighborhood and everything was policed correctly. Now they're so busy because they don't have a lot of time apart from these lovely women and gents over there who are campaigning for something that I've got no idea about. They don't, they don't have a lot of time, they're underfunded. Our problem's not about the police, our problem's the centralised government. You know, the police are here to protect, you know, they just follow in orders. I speak, I speak many times to coppers and they say, I can't have an opinion, I'm not allowed to have one. And that says something considering they are the ones that, you know, bring law and order and help us. They're the ones that protect our children. They're the ones that are going on the streets at night time, catching drug dealers and etc. getting all this stuff off the streets. All right. Back to digital ID. Because this is the chink in the armor. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, oh, when Jesus was. I love it. <laughs> so. If you, if you want to know more information, because I see a lot of people looking at me now thinking, what the f*** is he on about? Go on time to wakeupdevon.com. You will see everything on there. You'll see the events we're doing. You'll see what we're against. You'll see all the documents. You'll see all the FAQs. Everything is linked on there. Go on time to wake up, Devon. You know, we are here for you. We're here to give you information. We're not here to tell you what to think. We're here just to give you the information the media hide from you. Do not trust the BBC. When I was a kid, my, my dad gave me two rules. He said, one, don't eat yellow snow, and two, don't trust the government. And I've a... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who, nobody trusts the government. And yet there's a few people that would say well, we're a bit mental here when everybody doesn't trust the government. You know, we are against the government. We're against the establishment. We are here to fight for you. And we fight very hard for you. You know, we are here in our spare time. We are here against this 20 minute agenda. 
As you can see, we've got a big banner here about CBDCs. You need to educate yourself on CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. No savings, no privacy, no freedom. How is a CBDC different from what we have now? Unlike cards or phone apps, Central Bank Digital Currencies will be programmable, or smart money, which means the bank can. Limit when and when where and what you spend your money on. Monitor and record every transaction you make. Take fines, taxes and charges automatically without appeal. Give your money an expiry date so savings won't be possible. Link your wallet to a carbon allowance and social credit score. Freeze your account so you're unable to buy or sell anything. By using cash everywhere, it keeps the cash infrastructure in place and gives the banks no excuse to bring in smart digital money. Please draw cash out of your banks and use cash wherever you can. Oh, I don't know if I can get out. I can't. 